Hi there, beautiful. <laughs> this here's Medil Village of Ocean Currents. <laughs> it's a tranquil village with hot springs. <laughs> the ideal place for us old folks to live out our carefree lives. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be peaceful outside, but it's still nice and quiet here. Oh, I heard the huge man's about to fall on us. It's no joke. I'm gonna start stocking up on the essentials. Come on, out of the way! Move it, move it! Welcome. We accept cash with a smile. At least we would, but that customer over there has purchased everything. We've got nothing left. Gotcha. Just a little joke, eh? Now, what can I do for you? Thank you. Please come again. So, what can I do for you? Well, don't eat luckily I've come up. You're very friendly all of a sudden. Oh, so that's it. You've got your beady little eyes on my mimic greens. Well, okay. Eat up. <laughs> How cute! I could just tickle you! Thank you. 
Ancient weapons? The end of the world? I'll have none of that malarkey. I'm gonna live to be a hunter. There's tons of stuff I have left to do. I'm making a start this instant. And just what have Shinra and Soldier done about this, huh? Nothing but a bunch of self-serving egos. Ancient. There's tons of stuff. And just what if... You're telling me no one knew a huge ball of fire could rain down on us at any minute. I don't believe a word of it. How could we end up like this? True, I'm a fair maid, but don't let that fool ya. I buy and sell accessories on the side. You'll never be ashamed wearing these. Only the finest of quality. So how about it? Feel like buying something? Thank you. Come back anytime. Hey, you got that green stone from the chocobo. I am so jealous. Huh? What's this? There's something stuck here. Looks like a key. It's stuck real good. I'll let it go for now. Huh? There's something st- I'll- Roll up, roll up! It's a bloodletting sale. It's a bargain. We've got the best weapons and armors, the likes of which you won't find anywhere else. First come, first served. You there. Don't just stand around, come inside. Welcome, welcome. There's no need for formalities. Go on in. Don't be shy, step right up. I'll never understand why my husband decided to set up shop in such a laid-back place. <sighs> no good. Looks like it's locked. Come on, there has to be a way to get it out. If I just move this and push that... Oh, right! It came loose! I know! What about that rusty old key? Maybe I should give it a shot. Better not. Use the beat-up old rusty key. Yeah, this should do it. It's a tight fit. Ah! Oh no! It snapped off! I can't get it out! Is something the matter? Uh, no, it's just... What am I gonna do? Better apologize. I'm... I'm so sorry. I forced the key in and it broke off. Huh? Key? To that door? <laughs> That's a good one. Huh? Of course it broke. It's a wall. I painted a door onto it. What? It's not a real door? That's right. I painted it on there to make it feel like you could pass through into another world. Sorry I made you panic. It's not much of an apology, but please take this. Really? Thanks, I guess. Who wouldn't want a door like that? One that you can take into another world! 
you know, I have this nagging feeling I might manage it someday. Welcome to Comrades Emporium, a store of love and courage. What can I do for you today? Again. I haven't seen you people before. Are you outsiders? How are things looking out there? What with the earthquakes and meteors? I'm starting to wonder if it really is the end of the world. What a depressing thought. Terrible times indeed. What's the matter? You look lonely. Have you lost your owner? Poor thing. I guess it's been about a week now since he washed up on shore. Poor spiky haired young fellow. I it was pretty sad. It's kind of strange though. Hold on to that enormous sword. Maybe this is a bad omen. If you know what I mean. What? What did you just say? Excuse me, that young man you were talking about. A villager found him on the coast up ahead. About a week ago, I think. Poor kid. I bet he drifted in from somewhere really far away. Cloud! It must be! It's Cloud! You sure? We found him at last. Where is he? Is he safe? Where is he? Oh, he's up ahead. At the clinic. He's alive. Cloud. Cloud's alive. Cloud! They wake that diva! Cloud? Oh my. The way you ran in, I thought Meteor was about to crash down or something. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine is being treated here. A friend? Oh, the young man. Your friend is in the next room, but I must warn you, he... Here? Excuse me. Cloud? Oh, Cloud! I'm so glad you're okay! Uh, Cloud? Uh... What's wrong, Cloud? Uh, oh. Cloud, what's happened to you? Marco poisoning. A severe case, I'm sorry to say. It appears that this young man has been exposed to extreme levels of Marco energy for a prolonged period of time. It's unlikely that he has any idea who or where he is. Poor fellow. He probably can't even hear you. His mind is elsewhere, someplace far away, where no one's ever been, all alone. No! Damn. Huh. Cloud! <clears throat> Shall we excuse ourselves a moment? 
Let's wait outside. see me that you can hear me please I made it this far I want to believe the memories we share are real this can't be happening it's just too cruel oh cloud I Yo, Doc. Be honest a sec. What's... Uh, what's gonna happen to Cloud? Is he gonna get better? As I said, he has Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. Mako energy holds a vast amount of knowledge and it all poured into his head in an instant. An ordinary person wouldn't have stood a chance. It's a miracle he's still alive. No wonder. Falling into the live stream and being washed up all the way out here. But remember, a glimmer of hope can be found anywhere. You mustn't give up. If you lose all hope, you'll have nothing left to live for. Hope, huh? Hey, let's get real. Do I really want him back? What's he done for the world? And what could he do for us from here on, huh? He may be nothing more than Sephiroth's handyman. Is something the matter? Nah, it's nothing. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, sorry I made you worry. There's something I need to tell you. might be obvious, but... I... want to stay by his side. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. For Cloud and you. Trust your instincts. I'm sorry. And now of all times... You got nothing to apologize for. We'll come back and check on you. Attend to Cloud. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, Tifa. I don't like asking this, but are you sure he's the one you grew up with? Not some kind of Sephiroth shadow? Hmm? I think so. No. I know so. Okay. As long as you're sure. Sorry about that. We're heading back to the high wind. What are we gonna do now? Well, there's gotta be something. I mean, don't go telling me we have to wait for Cloud to get better. Uh, I've got some info. Oh, so you moved up to counter spying, eh? Ah, I turned my back on Shinra long ago. Both Kyahaha and Kyahaha are up to something. Want to eavesdrop? Now then, we're faced with two pressing issues. One, the destruction of Meteor. Two, removing the barrier surrounding the Great Crater and defeating Sephiroth. Any thoughts as to our strategy? Yeah! <laughs> We've solved problem one. Meteor will soon be history. The plan's already in motion. We're currently in the process of recovering huge materia from each region. Hmm. Huge materia is a special type of highly condensed materia. It's compressed and formed inside Mako reactors. 
The energy contained is around 330 times that of normal materia. <laughs> How about that? We'll gather up all the huge materials and then ram them into Meteor. There'll be an enormous explosion. Meteor will be quite literally blown to bits. You're going to ram Meteor? But do we have the technology? First things first, we've still got to retrieve the huge materia from each area. We've recovered one from Nibelheim. Only Coral and Fort Condor remain. I've already dispatched troops to Coral. Yeah! <laughs> Corel? What more can they do to Corel? Huge materia. It's materia that's literally huge in size. I've heard about it. I got told that if you bring normal materia close enough to it, something incredible can happen. And since we're going to need the power of materia... We can't let any of the huge materia fall into Shinra's hands. Besides, when Cloud gets back, I want to show him some. He'll get the shock of his life. Oh, so what's all this then, Beret? After everything that's happened, you want Cloud back too, eh? Hey, hey, I ain't never had no problem with him. Thing is, every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me, is what I used to say. But I ain't cut out to be no leader no more. See, I never got that till recently. So that just leaves... What's going on? You're our new leader. Pain in the ass. Forget it! To continue the fight, we need you and the High Wind. This is the ship that'll save the planet. And who's running it? You are! That's why you're our leader. Cause no one else can do it. The ship that'll save the planet, huh? That sounds like the stuff of legends to me. I just felt it right there. I'm the man. Damn right I'll do it. Well, let's get down to business. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah! Yo, Sid! When you're ready, help with the coral reactor. Come on, Mr. Leader. Hurry it up. Sid? Taking orders? I know you're dying to talk to a babe like me, but I need to be alone. Sorry. Just make me... Uh. Oh. Hello, Captain.
Hello, Captain. Your orders? Hello, Captain. Your orders? I have my hands full right now. I do apologize. Never mind. Let's have a chat. I'm so sorry. I can't chat right now. I'm in the middle of something very important. Oh, I'm so lonely. Please bring a chocobo on board. I'll do it eventually, okay? Oh dear. Hmm. There's huge materia at Krell, Fort Condor, and I forget where else. Come on, think. Where was it? Captain, you were born to play leader. Captain, keep it up, sir. Yo, Mr. Leader, hurry it up. Hey, Sid. Let's visit Cloud and Tifa from time to time. Sid, I envy your burning passion. My capacity for emotion melted away during my incapacitation. All right, we leaving? No. Yeah, go! Hoo-ah! We're off! Corral or Fort Condor? What a lovely chocobo. We leaving? Hoo-ah! We're off! You've come at the right time. Shinra changed their strategy. They are trying to destroy the reactor, so they can take the material from it. Man, we're on dangerous ground. We must hold the fort. Uh, is anywhere safe from Shinra? Their strategy has changed. They're making a final push. It's do or die. Our lives are in your hands. We're counting on you. Are you ready?
The strategy has changed our lives. Are you ready? You hang in there. The strategy has changed. Our lives are... Are you ready? The strategy... Our lives... Are you ready? This will settle things once and for all. There are more enemies out there than ever before. Now let's give it everything we've got. Yes! We did it! That was terrific. Well done. Shinra won't trouble us ever again.
Th th that light just now. The condor. The egg. S sorry, would, would you check on things outside for me? It's gone. Thanks again for all your help. Be sure to report to my father. Thank you all. I really mean it. Thank you so much. I have nothing to offer, but feel free to stop by any time. Oh yes, I forgot. Huh? What's up with this? Oh damn, this is really huge. So, this is the materia. The truth is, this is the materia that was inside the reactor. And what the hell are we fighting for? We weren't protecting the reactor at all. We were protecting the Condor. When the reactor was being built, they forced us to help. And that's how we knew what was inside. We knew this day would come. So after Shinra left, we sneaked in and took the materia. We didn't mean to deceive you, but I guess that's how it turned out. I'm really sorry. Eh, yeah, just forget about it. We were still alive, aren't we? I see. Thanks for looking at it like that. We're very grateful. 